benefit stamps, but definitely gives you uh, a situational awareness whether or not someone is close or not. Got to be careful though. Mew gemmers do block that phone call from coming through, so you might think something's clear. Uh, but with the Mew gemmer being out and about, you might just uh, get called off. As a oh. result for Ezra Falcons for a jump out well. will be confirmed. Didn't even hit a single shot, I think. Not actually one onto Sloth. That doesn't feel very BDS. What is this? Rafal? Stay in the map, bro. That's your game plan normally. But hey, I'm welcoming a little bit of aggression. We see it coming out from the Lems. He gets one, but then lands straight into a Claymore and finds himself down on the ground. 4v3 as the Candelas, the Chaos springs out. Breede from inside a stock holds the fort at least for a few more seconds. But this plant is going down. They've got an Ossa. they got Candelas. They have got everything they need. Uno's onto a double in the round as Renshiro hits the deck as well. So a two versus one temporarily. And you can see now what the game plan was as well. The Chaos of the Ossa, the KB, the Candelas, everything coming in together alongside the tracks. It was a really well-sprung trap coming out from Heroic, and now BDS have somehow got a restage of retake. You have a single Kiba barrier left. You might be able to actually, yes, close that one off. Try and go for the long arm there with the shotgun coming through. Have someone ready to go for the cover, but it doesn't seem like they can reach it. Currently, oh, one, one shotgun shell comes through. A jump out potentially to fall oh, it's the, Uno. Oh, no, that is coming in from behind. behind. Is Breede in time? <laughs> yes, <laughs> he is. He is in time, Breede. He saw it through the gap in the shield. Gets the clutch. What's he doing? The longer this comp stays alive, arguably the better it's going to be. You've got the Shumakas to go through. Of course, you've got more of those barriers to come out. You've got more magnets in the back pocket of Rafal as well. So losing members earlier on could be quite punishing here for BDS. You just want to see him be nice and cautious here. Keep on running through a bit of time, but in they go. Trying to find one, and they've already got rid of the Chanker. That's the kind of kill you want. A second one came through. As down goes the Wamai, those magnets to be no more. Magnets aren't real. Just you know boost that? up and go through. You might be able to find yourself some entries there. Big opening made into the prep world there. Lems tries to take a fight through. It won't be able to last any longer than that. Shanker goes down as well. It's a triple entry before a response is attempted to be found here oh. by Lems, but he misses most of his shots and potentially will fall next nice as well. Good one on to Benja as well. A key man to find. Now, does he know about the man stepping across? Yes, he does. It's Gorgona. Here comes a new challenger. He screams. There's one HP left to his name. It's him in the Colosseum and still three members of Heroic looking to bear down here. But Lems may have done enough work here to slowly give BDS a chance of still winning this round. One more on the wide swing, but a Sloth cannot be stopped this round. Finds the 3k. Breede left alone, and he's got a lot of work to do here. Sadly, no smoke on side as we saw it banned away. His normal go-to operator has got to make it work on the Azami. Down to about 10 HP. One more bullet, and he has done it. Sloth with a big 4k, and Heroic with that round win get what they should have had after round one. Uh, uncharacteristic for him there. He's usually the one that is so sharp, gives every head he sees. It's a four for there 10, we fifth go. one. He will finally get it. And we'll try and reply towards the side of Hero. But they still have a minute advantage here uh, that they need to deal with. One thing I will get to BDS, they have been excellent at destroying drones so far throughout this game. In the last round, they were down to like two with still 75 seconds to play. Here, they're anon. But they say drones don't kill people, guns do. And in they come. Gorg with a big 2k from inside of Coats. And another comfortable close out, close out for Hero. Won't hit anything. Da -da. This one might. Da -da. Come on, just, just, just throw it, Breede. Just release it. It's not a Pokeball. Just let, just go. let it go. Yes! Yay! Thank <laughs> God for that. And he catches himself a Benja. What a great Pokemon to have on the belt. As it stands then, we've got BDS still sat in a five versus three. They have chipped and picked away at the members of Heroic. And now I've got a great chance to equalize things out into a two versus two. Down goes Uno, a five versus one. This is much more like the BDS. We all love and know a clear, flawless round coming out to end round four. He stays here the more in danger you are of a potential grenade to come through. So you either need to dig in deep, or you need to go a bit aggressive and try and catch one off. Oh, oh there he goes! Found himself oh. one! Found himself two before finally getting shut down. Gorg, a little bit slow on the reaction there, because Alems has picked up another, and the damage coming out from Plick Pixel is untold. Three kills for BDS, and when it looked like maybe it was Heroic warming up earlier, it's absolutely BDS. A four versus one, and there is still 60 seconds to go through. One of really the French side is starting to capitalize. You definitely see how the Kiba berries of Azami can transform a bit of an open area like the piano into a bit of a maze where you can just pop up at any given moment at any given spot. Angle to play behind can also step to the left of that Kiba barrier, almost safely maneuver his way across the gap. And now there are limited options on the attacker side to get rid of that. Renshiro again striking big. Who cares about the Shumakas when you've got an LMG? Hits the 3k before Gore gets the trade back out again. But for me, at least here, how did those will eventually connect? And as it seems like they're going through the hallway now, 
Gona about to be taken out. They have a Brude just steps up. They know the last one is on top of red. It's Grizzly who gets taken out as well. Brude finds a second headshot there. A bit of a commitment here because it's going to be difficult to go for a rotate, especially with these last pieces of utility being used elsewhere for cameras all the way on the backside. And the Shaiko now digs in deep oh. inside the freezer. He takes a bit of a hit, but he continues to try and push forward. The Juice coming back up as well. Sloth versus Shaiko. Who wins out? Battle of the S's. It's the Sloth that comes out the winner. A 4v4 Gorg into another, but Brede takes Shaiko's shoes and keeps on stepping forwards. Gets the trade back. Diffuser in hand, down to about 40 HP. Is now going to plant on bags. Grizzly, all too aware of what's coming in out towards his right hand side. And now they want to push in and try and stop the man going for the plant, but he's already moved away. It's a three versus one. Brede can't close this one out. Heroic will do just that with three left alive. A good start to the half. Oh, I'd love to see him out this window and kill like two people now. I would just live for it. But you know it's not going to happen. They've got reinforcements. They've got the ADSs up here. They've committed oh, no, to this. this here he comes now. Does he know about it? Oh, oh he had no idea what was coming. <laughs> Hits the deck. A little bit of panic now. Back up on his feet. But Gore's got a 2k Avenger into a third. They've got the shutdown they need. BDS tried to make this rush play work. And they have been destroyed from every possible angle by the members of Heroic and Breed. He's like, well, guys, I'm in sight. Hello. I'm ready to plan. Where are you? The comms are silent. The team are Gone. Can open up the site, but part of their worry needs to be who might work their way up red stairs, who might come and challenge them up white, for example. Heroic, not really the kind of team to sit static and let you just walk all over them. They will come back and they will strike big. Shaiko finding one before getting traded out again. Two kills for by the wayside, and Renshiro again is left wondering what the hell happened. The comms have gone quiet. It's a one versus four. Heroic looking set to take three rounds in a row, and that momentum swing now well and truly back in their favor. Predicting a tactical timer coming through right after this it one. It needs to uh, When Shiro gets blown up from below, Heroic just closes it off like bullied. that. <laughs> He's getting bullied out of this round. And with that, it is Heroic that leads the charge now. Like they let off the round three. They've now retaken it. They need to go for a plan, but with everything opened up, there is no safe space where they can do so. They need to get one or two more kills if they want to find themselves in an opportunity to safely get it down. Heroic just being patient as Saints here as well, just waiting, sitting and watching for their chance. And Bride exposes one. On Rafal the second, Gorg's up to 11 kills, and they must know the last man is up on the skylight. 20 seconds to play for Renshira to try and stage a heroic recovery effort. It just doesn't seem possible at this point. It'll put heroic up to match point with a two round advantage as well. C4 coming through, not finding anyone but Uno on the swing. Him and Gorgona, a mega 2k in that round to make sure heroic are just one round away from bringing down the French side. Though, especially with the verticalities that you can use to stop any of these plans from happening. Sloth ready to go for a jump out, knows the line is the other side is gonna go for it gets it as well 4-4 and Goal chooses the, the long way around Goal indeed has him. that support but with that Love with it. that opened up he's safely allowed to return not having to be afraid of the skyline that again is a little bit of team play that i keep on referencing for heroic it's just better than what we're seeing out of bds gorg racing down white opening up the rotate making sure stuff had a safe way back in just little beautiful moments like that it's not hard to get it right it's just a bit of team play and right now heroic are shining gotta give a massive shout out to uno normally in the shadows a little bit on this team He's at 10 and 4 this game and had some massive 2Ks. In comes Shaiko, shuts down Gorg. So now it turns down to these last three members. Another second one coming through. Can you smell that ace on the way, Hap? Because it's starting to build up. Shaiko still looking for the next two. They've only got 15 seconds to play, though. It's now or never. You've got to make this work. Brede coming in for the plant. Shaiko, the sole sentry holding down this site at this point. Just waiting for the drop. One comes through. He makes it a quad. Can he find the last? He sees yes, the he man. Does. Of course he can. It's an ace for Shaiko to keep BDS in. It. One more round and we get OT. Five seconds. BDS have got that numbers advantage. You can see him crawling around on the downstairs as they move in towards the site. Gorg looking to challenge from white. And finally, the Demon King Shaiko is gone. It's gone. Sloth coming around on that top floor. There's still someone underneath the new hatch. Rafael will get that kill. It's a very important one because with that, Pillar stays under their control. Gorgona finds one. Grizzly oh, wow, finds trade. one as well. It's a one on one right now. It's Gorgona up against Rinshiro. The diffuser is down underneath the new balcony. Seconds. It's 20 seconds. He has no clue where his last defender is. He's got to step in and make it happen here and now. Renshi hasn't got the diffuser on side, so he's clearly going in looking for the kill. The problem is he's playing blind. Gorg can just run away from this one if he oh. so chooses, but he comes down for the fight and wins it out. Of course, it has to come down to a one versus is one heroic win it out bds so close but still yet to find a full three points here after two play days